So I wanted to do a video on this uh, new jacket I have, or actually I have two of them, but uh, it's made by, by Weatherwool. And I did a, a um, video a little over a year ago, I think, about wool, because uh, I'm, I'm a firm believer in it. I, I wear it almost every day, not in the summertime. Actually, I bought a, a few uh, merino wool t-shirts uh, to try out this summer or whatever. But uh, during the winter, I'm always wearing wool, even at work and uh, in the outdoors. I hunt a lot, uh, bow hunting and gun hunting stuff for, for deer. So I'm in the outdoors a lot. We, we live off grid here in uh, Northern Wisconsin and uh, I'm an electrician by trade. So I work uh, outside half the time. And actually now that I own my own business, I probably a quarter of the time. I've always worn wool for probably a little over t uh, 10 years, I'd say now. I have uh, wool products from um, Filson, uh, King of the Mountain, Wool Power, and uh, Wool Rich um, would be the uh, biggest ones. Um, uh, and they're all good. They're all good products. I, I like all of them. Um, but after uh, purchasing a, a couple jackets from Weatherwool, I can tell you that um, it's far and away a better product. And um, it's mostly because of, it's because of the fabric. You know, all the designs of the jackets are different and stuff. Um, I have this one that's an anorak, um, and then my other one is is called their all-around jacket. Um, that's the one I use uh, deer hunting, so I don't use that um, really anything else but deer hunting, so I can keep it as scent-free as possible. So um, during bow this year and gun, I've I wore that, um, but I've only worn it for one season. This jacket I've worn for a year now, um, and throughout this winter, spring, last fall. And <clears throat> wearing all those other products that I have, and now wearing this this year, I can I can totally compare the two, and uh, tell you that this is a, a better product. It is uh, pricier. There's a there's a good reason for it is because of all the the stuff that goes into it. Those other companies they source their wool, so they don't make the fabric, and then they design their their designs of their garments, their jackets, and stuff like that, pants and whatnot. But they don't make their own fabric. Weatherwool actually makes their own fabric um, because they wanted to get the best fabric. Um, if they just sourced their wool, it would be just as good as everybody else's. But uh, they've made a, made a better product, in my opinion, because they've made their own fabric. Um, those other companies have kind of like blanket wool, um, is, I guess is what I call it. It's, it's a little scratchier and stuff. A lot of people can't you know, they complain about wool touching their skin and a lot of companies actually put liners in their jackets and pants and stuff um, so they don't, you don't have that inch, itchiness next to the skin. Well, when you put a liner in wool, it, it kind of defeats the purpose of the wool in my opinion. So I don't like like stuff from Cabela's and stuff like that. You'll have a windproof liner or whatever. Um, if I was gonna do that, I would just wear a different garment like underneath the wool or on top of it. Um, that way I have the ability to just wear the wool because the wool, you know, it breathes better. Um, it, it keeps you warm when it gets wet and when you put a lining in it and you get wet, then the lining's wet. It's soaking into the wool, it's touching your, your body. Um, so it defeats the purpose of the wool. But weather wool, like I said, makes their own fabric and they, they don't have that blanket type wool. It's, it's more of a merino type wool. It's uh, the reason that wool um, itches you is because it's a thicker fiber that pokes into your skin and doesn't bend. Well, merino wool is a thinner fiber. Um, that's why you can wear it next to your skin and it just bends when it hits your skin. Um, this fabric is kind of in between. Um, it's thicker than merino wool, but I can tell you without a doubt, it is just as soft as merino wool. And um, like, um, I could wear this next to my head. That's the, the part that gets scratchy on me because um, I've worn it, I think, for so long or maybe I'm just not as um, susceptible to it or, or whatever. Um, I can wear pretty much any wool against my top section, you know, my sleeves or whatever. If I had uh, um, Filson or King of the Mountain, I can wear that next to my arms and it's not scratchy to me. But my pants, they are. So I have to wear like a merino wool um, underneath my King of the Mountain pants. Um, or my head. This I can you can make a pillowcase out of it, and it would be awesome. I think 
Ralph should actually make blankets out of this. Ralph, you should make blankets out of this stuff. You know how big wool blankets are in the bushcraft community. I bet these would uh, sell like hotcakes if you had uh, some blankets made out of this stuff. But um, they go to great lengths to, to make their fabric. They make them from only specific sheep. Okay, it's, it's a Rambouillet wool. Um, like I say, it's a little thicker than Merino uh, because they want it to be stronger and uh, tougher. And um, so, so it's a little bit of a thicker fiber, but still bends when it touches your skin and still has that soft touch, you know, touch so you can wear it next to your skin. All American, it's a total American made product. They only use a, a sheep from um, ranches that, that are based in America and they only use specific sheep. They, they go to the, the, the best ranchers. I mean, they're getting the best stuff you can possibly get for a wool garment. From my understanding, after reading all this information on the, the internet, and you know, you should go on the internet and read this stuff if you're gonna buy this product and, and take a look at it. It's just crazy what, what goes into it. Um, they only use the wool from, from specific sheep that meet their criteria. Um, it's gotta be um, from certain parts of the sheep's body, the, like the midsection, the back, the head, because it's longer fiber. Um, and a, a longer fiber makes a stronger fabric because they twist the fiber together. Well, if you had a very short fiber and it's twisted together, you could pull it apart. Well, if it's longer, you're not gonna be able to pull it apart because it's like a friction thing, you know what I mean? So they use the longest fiber that these looms that they, they make them on will take. So they're using the, the longest fiber possible. And um, their looming process is actually different. I think it's a jackhard loom or whatever. And it, it's, it's like a three-dimensional fabric instead of a, a flat loom or whatever. So again, you'd have to read more about it. But in the end, it makes a denser fabric which cuts the wind better. Um, and is also more insulative because it's, it's loftier, traps more dead airspace. And I can tell you without a doubt that this stuff is cuts the wind better than other wools. One part about wool that isn't the best is that, uh, you know, the wind can go through it. Well, this stuff, you could be in about a 15 mile an hour wind and it, it won't, you won't feel it. I purposely wore this out today. It's uh, lower 30s. It's April 20th or something. Really nice April day. And um, I just wore a t-shirt. So I just got done taking my dogs for a walk and uh, just have a t-shirt under this. So we just got doing a, a little over a half mile walk. And I just wanted to see if this was warm enough to wear with just a t-shirt underneath, underneath it. Now this is a, a heavy weight fabric. They make two different um, weights, a mid and a heavy. This is the heavy weight. And uh, I'm perfectly warm. I actually got a little too warm and had to unzip these, these side zips to uh, cool myself down a little bit. But um, that's probably because it's, it's springtime and my body is acclimated to the this cold ass winter we had um in the fall i would have i don't know if i would have got away with a t-shirt and and this but um definitely today i'm warm enough that there's a little breeze i don't know how much you can see the snow's spite maybe five miles an hour but i wanted to see if i felt it through the sleeves and i don't at all and i can guarantee that i would have felt it if i was wearing my filson or king of the mountain um because i've done it um, recently, the last couple weeks, because I planned on doing a video like this, and I just wanted to um, feel the differences and stuff. So um, it definitely cuts the wind a lot better, which is huge, because when you're sitting in a tree stand for, you know, upwards of, of five, six hours um, in a tree, waving in the wind, uh, it's nice to just have your wool on and not have to wear that other layer to cut the wind. Um, and you can do that with this, with this uh, type of wool from, from weather wool, because um, I've done it last fall in that all around jacket. They, they go to the extent of only using um, sheep for their wool that are on ranches that don't use polypropylene, like their feed bags and tarps and stuff can't be on those ranches because that polypropylene um, tears off in the wind or whatever gets into the the sheep and when they shear it it's in that fabric it can't it's next to impossible to get it out and it gets woven into your fabric which weakens the fabric and it also doesn't accept dyes so they, i mean they go to that extent um that the ranches that they go to 
aren't allowed to use polypropylene feed bags and tarps and stuff. It's just, uh, it's pretty crazy um, what goes into this uh, product. And that's why I'm okay with paying a little bit extra, especially to have a, a wool that is warmer, um, which, which I can say without a doubt, and cuts the wind better. And you're only going to be spending, like this jacket was $565, I believe, when I bought it. Pretty expensive, you know. Um, my Filson jacket, Mackinac wool jacket, right now is, I believe, $495. So, you know, 70 bucks or whatever more for this. And it, it outperforms it hands down. Now, I do like my, my Filson jacket, but, but if I'm going to sit in a tree stand, I'm wearing this for sure because um, I'm going to stay on stand long. But it's also the, the, the sewing and everything. I mean, it's like they use slot buttons. They don't use regular buttons. Um, I've had buttons come off of my, my uh, Filson jacket before. Um, these guys use slot buttons, which is a button where that piece of fabric, which is a really strong button, I think it's military grade, whatever that means, it's good stuff. And uh, this fabric goes through the button and then is stitched to the wool. So, I mean, that's gonna be pretty tough to rip out. Um, I don't think that's gonna fail. You know, they use YKK zippers. Even the uh, cuffs are made of wool. That's, that's the other thing on this fabric is it's 100% wool. Now, other companies say 100% wool because uh, or one like Filson will say 100% virgin Mackinac wool. That means um, their wool hasn't been recycled and it's all Mackinac wool. But that doesn't mean the entire fabric is wool. They actually use uh, cotton in their fabric and then they weave the wool in there. So um, there's not just wool in there. There is cotton. And that's the thing. same thing with uh, Woolrich and King of the Mountain. I think King of the Mountain uses uh, Kevlar and... Uh, cotton too i don't know if kevlar if kevlar if that's a, a gimmick or whatever you know everybody hears kevlar and you're like oh badass but uh this is all wool everything about it they even have uh wool cuffs i think they went through great extents just to have uh wool cuffs because nobody um else makes that so they had to do it themselves they had to come up with that but yeah after wearing it all this this winter and having all the experience i do with the, my other garments and stuff um made by those other companies um I can, I can tell you that weather wool, you know, kind of blows it out of the water. Um, I'll still wear those other ones, but when I'm going out in the woods hunting, I'm definitely going to be wearing uh, my weather wool um, because of the, the wind and, and, and it just traps more body heat. It's just warmer. I can, I was actually thinking about that. Um, like I can wear this, I would say down 15, 20 degrees colder than I would um, my other wool without layering underneath it you know you can always wear that other jacket but you're just gonna have to throw on another layer and uh this you can get away with um not so many layers underneath it and still keep you as warm so, yeah i i love this stuff uh, i actually bought a, a jacket for my my wife too really expensive but uh you know this stuff lasts a lifetime my other wolves lasted uh you know over 10 years and i'm sure this will be the same it's it's built tougher you know the, the, the buttons and everything yeah it's pretty cr crazy the the customer service too when you order these um the, the owner's name is ralph and you can call a guy um on his cell phone and he actually answers Dude, i mean he answers his phone every time he even knows your name so he must plug it into his cell phone obviously and oh kirk's calling hey kirk how's it going so pretty crazy call the guy whenever um weekends doesn't matter and uh they'll uh, talk your ear off about this product so he's pretty passionate about it which is always good um you know somebody's passionate about their job they're, they're going to uh do a better job so um yeah i can't say enough about this stuff works really well and i'm glad i pulled the trigger because obviously i had enough wool as it was but after um reading everything about it um on their website and stuff i'm like i gotta try this stuff so i i did i went all in too because i bought three different <laughs> jackets one for my wife and two for me um but i'm happy with it I, i'm not disappointed at all so so real quick i, I just wanted to put this jacket on and, and show you this this is that all-around jacket i was talking about and um this actually has a double layer of wool 
uh, across the shoulders and the back. And uh, on the back of this cape, there's a point, which I'm sure is for um, the same idea. The water will uh, reach that smaller point and then drip off um, and less liable to sit on your jacket and uh, get you wet. But uh, this is what I wore last year, um, bow season and, and gun season. Um, and it worked really well. Um, has lots of pockets. I used to use my uh, Filson Mackinac Cruiser um, during, uh, especially gun season when I'm still hunting. Um, but uh, it's cold that time of year, um, late November here in northern Wisconsin. And uh, this is nice because I don't need as many uh, layers underneath it. Because again, the, the wind cutting ability and um, the loft of it, it uh, just keeps me, me warmer. So um, I bought this on top of that other anorak um, for the reason of this can withstand a little bit more weather uh, because of that double layer of, of wool on the top. And also I really like this camouflage pattern. I think it's awesome for a tree stand. Um, because it's so light. Um, I like light colored camels because I think the deer is always looking up at you and they kind of see right through you. It breaks up your outline really well. And even on the, the, the woods, I like, even when ground hunting, I like a, a lighter camel. I think uh, you're less liable to turn into a big blob uh, farther away than um, these new camels they have out now like breakup and stuff. Um, this just blends in really well and on top of that wool any type of camel you put on wool is is usually going to be better because of um it, it doesn't shine or anything you know there's no shine to it it's a very drab um color and it has that three-dimensional look to it which uh i think is a, a big benefit so anyway i just wanted to show this jacket really quick just wanted to um tell you how much i, I liked it for whatever it's worth in my, in my opinion and um yeah phenomenal product now the only thing to do is get some pants um it's the only problem my area i have um anytime i wear my wool pants i gotta wear something underneath them and sometimes uh that's too warm so um but weather wool would solve that problem because i can wear it next to my legs which that uh usually my legs get itchy with wool pants um unlike my my top so um I guess I needed some more weather wool. Get it out of you. <laughs> Just love to run, 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 run.